I alluded to this a little bit in the images module. Object styles are a terrific way to organize elements in a book, making it simple to bulk edit those elements later on, and also to map them to the appropriate HTML tags. The sidebar in this screenshot has a gray background and some text wrap applied to it. If, for example, there will be similar sidebars throughout this book, creating an object style to quickly apply to those frames is an efficient workflow. And so, you know, um, all of those styles associated with those objects, so the background, the inset, the text wrap, etc., would travel with that object style and you don't have to do all those things over and over again. So let's have a look at what that looks like. At present, this is just styled as the basic graphics frame. There's a plus sign on it because there's extra things happening there. Um, so object styles can be used for all kinds of elements. Let's just step back for a minute to state that. Images, illustrations, text boxes, etc. Um, and so you can use it for a whole bunch of things. In this case, I'm going to use it for a sidebar. I'm going to say um, new object style, and I will call it... Uh, uh, sidebar. I think I'm going to get an error object. So I'll give it a quick name like that and then apply it to that selection. So there, now it's applied. The key thing is that later I will map that to the correct HTML. In the case of sidebars, it should be an aside tag. And then as I showed you a little bit earlier, this, the caption here is in a fig caption tag and the image here is in a figure tag now, but before I had it in one called three key lines, I simplified it back to uh, figure tag for reasons. When we get to the edit all export tags um, video, which is uh, the next one, I believe, I will show you how to squeeze some juice out of these object styles. When you use object styles rigorously, it's a good step. It sort of levels up your content to set your ebook up for accessibility success.